We are on. Yeah, we made it. Yeah. I can't tell you how many emails I had today where people say they totally enjoy mail call at the end of their day. It's, some of them, it's the only cheerful thing that happens in there. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> you know, I'm certainly delighted. <laughs> I'm amazed. But really. Well, anyway, mean? here we are again. Did you want to get up in the bed? Get up oh here. my gosh. Hey. Sorry, Carly. Oh my gosh. Come on. Uh, no, put it on. Oh, no, I don't come know. On. Come over here. here. Come, come over here. Come with your head. Sizzle. 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 I want you over here. Come on. Over there here. Over here. Good girl. There. That's a good girl. I want your head right there. Very pretty. Say. Yes. Say. Do you think it's the, it, it's the disorganized chaos? <laughs> it's disorganized? No. <laughs> what not do you even, mean? Not even vaguely. Where they. Yeah, I cleaned my wall yesterday. I mean today. Oh, were you bored? I, I, I well, hey. I couldn't move. Too well. <laughs> See, I, I've oh, you had a cookie. Eat. Yes. <gasps> oh, do you know what's up there? That's the pizza. Oh, you're kidding. No. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad I mentioned that because it was delivered outside, and I thought I better get that in. And you and Judy were out, and I popped it up there, and then I thought I better remember. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's frozen. <coughs> well, all right. Excuse me. So what we can do is just heat, huh? the, uh, heat the oven up. And would you like pizza for dinner? This is the only. This is the only oven on the property. You know that. Oh, I'm very well aware of that. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? I know. You have an oven over there. No. <laughs> no this is it. This is it. If you want to make anything, you got to come in here. Next said. Next said to me. Uh, I've just noticed there isn't um, a range or anything to cook on in the in the kitchen. I went. That's right. <laughs> and he went, I planned it that way. He's like, is that slightly problematic? And I went, depending on what you want to eat, it could be. Uh, so he said, uh, but you know, Nick doesn't cook, so. Well, he so, doesn't cook, and you no. don't cook. Then what do you need? I cook. I yeah. cook. So it took him about six weeks to realise it wasn't there. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. Just little things like that. Yeah. So he'll be over there cooking his fresh bread for you. Not. Because right. he doesn't cook. I used to do that. I drink bread all the time. Well, what happened? I quit. <laughs> now she doesn't want to make any more bread. No. I used to cook all the time. I used to cook every single night from scratch. Really? Uh -huh. I did it for years. Never, we, we didn't do takeout, we didn't do... Always cooked from beginning to end. My, wow. mother, my mother was a dietitian. You know, oh, God, okay. And uh, absolutely super. My mother is a wonderful cook. Uh, and we didn't, you know, we... We had takeout food, you know, uh, but it was majority of it was all cooked from beginning to end, and uh, okay. and I think in the last two three years I've kind of given up. Well, you're entitled to. Yeah. My mother always put three course meal on us mm -hmm. every night. Yeah. Really? Wow. Six o'clock. I know. Wow. And I didn't wash the dishes. Well, that's not bad because because then you get dessert. True. Yeah. Every night. Yeah. Marvelous chocolate oh, cakes. Ooh. Ooh. Chocolate yeah. cake. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> My father's favorite when you were in Scotland did you have custard? Custard's good. Oh my. With cream. On <laughs> oh. Wonderful. He loved custard. So we would oh my gosh, custard on everything. But it's yeah. a it's a it's a funny thing, you know, this uh, not cooking. I know. I think it is. It's very expensive as well. But not if you have all these nice male people who send us food. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be starving around here. I think oh, a lot unbelievable. of people stopped cooking with COVID, right? And yeah. Then, yeah, because that was the whole... Why? Yeah. Well, I think going to... My, do you know when... Market, yeah. In the height of COVID, my father had uh, two fridges up and running in the basement. And what he did was, because he's really, he has no immune system, so what he did was... They had their shopping delivered. The first shopping would go into the first fridge. It would sit and wait to come into circulation for three days. It would quarantine in the fridge. And then if anything else came in, it would go in the second fridge before it came up into the main household. Wow. That's what happens when you've got um, sort of like a, a medical weaning. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. I think people didn't want to go to the stores because no. of COVID, so they just well, would order out. I don't know what I don't know what, how that could make sense because you well because stop and shop deliver food yeah people, you know your yeah. groceries keep sure. yeah, started delivering to like well, I mean, what, what, how would you how are you doing better with COVID by having takeout 
Here's the picture from the newspaper. So I really don't have anything here, do I? No, no, there's no mail today. And just to clarify, Carlina's in the picture. And, That's right. And, whoop, and I took the picture. So it's credited to me. Hmm. Hum. Oh, God. I can't stand it. Ah, right. Read. I have, I have trouble every week coming oh, up with a on. picture that will... That could be in the newspaper. That's clear enough and things like that. And, and on topic. And it, it's a, That's my biggest problem with this weekly news article deal. It's the picture business. And now I've, they've got the wrong label on it. And believe me, everybody has told me. The other thing there seems to be a great debate about is my buying stuff for the property mm -hmm. and deducting it. I don't deduct it. No. I don't deduct anything. I'm so far over over deducted that I cannot deduct any more. There is a limit and a percentage of your income okay. that you can deduct mm -hmm. things on your income. And I'm so far over that I don't even bother keeping track. But I have cash checks mm -hmm. for everything that I've got. Yes. I do, you know. Good luck, Charlie, you know. It's I got I've got, a, I've got a whole bunch of canned checks. It's, a very, it's very difficult. It is. Well, you've got everybody commenting about whether I am deductible, whether, they did, whether they've donated to me when it's deductible. No, you've not donated to me. Nobody's donated to me. No. No. I, go right ahead. I'd be delighted. But no. It, and, and the things that, that you have donated to are deductible. I, when I was with Service Dog Project, Everything there was deductible. You mm. donated. Fine. And stuff that comes in now with Crazy Acres, yes, we are a 501c3. Mm -hmm. We have a number. We have a bunch of numbers. <laughs> we, yeah, let's not go for numbers. <laughs> and not only that, we have, you know, it's a it's a discussion, there's a board, and we we know where everything's going. Oh, God, we know. We, we are so organized with this ERN and Crazy Acres that it's a pain in the ass. That's what it is. But we do have asses, so it's fine. We do have asses, yes. you're wrong. <laughs> We've got several. <laughs> so I think it's a, it's a very difficult thing because... Just because? It, just because it is, I'm afraid. It's, you know, people don't understand, and therefore they make a big deal of it. And they've heard, by God, they've heard something, and they're going to pass that around. And I don't deduct a damn thing. No. I pay for one hell of a lot, and yes. it's fine. Exactly. And, <laughs> and that's where it becomes very difficult. And the other thing is, when you're a 501c3, there's only a certain amount of uh, personal funds you can put in. That's, no, you can put in all you want. You're just not going to get credit for it. No. I put in close to $30,000 every year that I don't deduct. Yes. And I've done that since the year 2003. Which is probably why it's all going. Yeah, right. Thank you the very reason, much. The reason I do it, it's a personal family bit of income that comes in every month. Mm -hmm. And I did nothing to earn it other than be born in the right family. So you passed it on. I passed it on. And I, you know, and so I get this money and I have always spent it on charitable purposes. Because mm -hmm. if I don't, I'll buy two more candy and ice cream and whipped cream. And there is absolutely nothing actually. <laughs> Why not, right? And, it's, it's you know, so... Day. Sorry, guys, there's no story there. No. Well, 
But you know the problem with stories. Oh, there's a problem with stories. <laughs> Where do you want? Do I know the problem with stories? <laughs> do we need to start? Where would you like me to start? And the picture of this? I don't think the guy's name was Bill, but I couldn't find out what his name was. It was Bill? It was Bill? Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> oh, shit. Even, even I worse. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I emailed Janine. I, I emailed everybody. What the hell is his name? Bill. Oh, nobody answered me. Bill Lee. Well, I didn't know that, so mm -hmm. I just played Bill here. Yeah. So that's fine. What happened to my demonstration dog? She went away. Oh, she's on the ground. She's, on, she's over there. Oh, We're going to celebrate and change the sheet tomorrow. I think. I didn't get that change that. <laughs> That's Nick. <laughs> so, hey, hey, are you going to read the article? Who? Are you going to read the article? No, you, you, read it. you want to read it? You have glass. It hey, starts at the do, top. I know. Do you want to help? Hey, stop it. Light up. Hey. Please. Oh my gosh, it's quite a long article. Brace yourselves. Well, I'm sorry. It's 45, 400 words. Or yes, something. it's a very, it's a very. Nice. So, a pack rural race in Boston could include our amusing rescue donkeys. You gotta face that way to hit the camera. <laughs> hit the telephone. Stop it! There are triple crown winners, and then there are real winners who happen to have won a fancy race three times. Bill from Leadville, Colorado, was certainly both. He flew into Boston on the red eye to compete in the Pat Rural Race in and around Bradley Palmer Street, State Forest on Saturday, September 30th. He and six locals were running with a dozen or so donkeys, mostly rescued by ERN, Equine Rescue Network, and housed at Ipswich and Topsfield Farms. This is not really a race in which to compete, but one to compete in the first place. I like that. Complete Did you get that? in the first place. Yeah. Complete to complete. I know my eyes i'm trying hard <laughs> the race is really the replication of a struggle between two men trying to register their gold mines now pack brutal races are held all over the west the triple crown races are 29 18 and 12 miles long bill has now added boston to his list of achievements when on sunday october the first he and six friends and donkeys made the test run down memorial drive and back to just to introduce the concept to boston Hopefully we'll be having a proper pack burrow race next fall. <laughs> Most of the donkeys have been prepared by, oh my God, <laughs> me <laughs> and crew, that's you, <laughs> volunteers of ERN during weekend walks, prepared to at least move forward, which they mostly did. Yes, they did. The very experienced donkeys willingly jog with their partners over hill and dale, except for puddles. Donkeys and water are always a challenge. The Ipswich race was set for three different groups, one mile, three miles, and 12 miles. In addition, there was a small group of five goats that got dressed up in flowers. They didn't really go anywhere, but they were very amusing. What they're supposed to do, people are amazed. And if they don't do what they're supposed to do, people are amused. So it's a win-win. They are not really stubborn, but they are very cooperative, as long as you explain what it is you want them to do. There are things they don't do, puddles being one of them, and for the most part, they don't do hurry very well either, mainly because they prefer to be cautious. I was in the car that returned Bill to Logan Airport. He was spotlessly clothed in his business attire. However, his business attire was not what you would expect to have sitting next to you on any airplane out of Logan. A great time was had by all, and we hope to redo it again officially next fall. I could see a race going down Memorial Drive, across the river, up Storrow Drive, and back to the start. I think people would really enjoy it. That's lovely. That Is that nice a good one. article? Very good article. I'll make my glasses next. Is it a Wednesday? I need my glasses for. Um, that was a really, and that's a really nice. Um, it was fun. And it was good yeah. fun. It, it was, was fun. fun. Everybody had a good time. Yeah, and there's still people commenting that they came to it. And I got that, that woman. Yeah. The crazy lady that took me to the hospital. Yes. Uh, it was funny. Yes. Sue. It's super. Sue, she called me this afternoon and to ask how I was doing. And she said she's she next to She said she's, she's, she has a, a dog deprivation problem going on. They lost a dog fairly recently. She wanted to know if she'd come pat mine. I said, come right in. How about it? So I think she's going to be here tomorrow afternoon. Oh, that's really nice. That's uh, maybe. absolutely Maybe. If she's not in, you'll hold her hand. Yes. 
The shit's okay. not in my head. <laughs> if she tickles my ears, it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. So, that was a nice article. That was good. I think all your mail arrived yesterday all in one block. We had a lot of mail yesterday. Oh, they, they just don't do it. They, that's not the way they're delivering mail. No. You get it on alternate Thursdays. Did you, what would you like? Did you want to come up here? Did you come used up? to get mail twice a day? Like, we used to do first class mail that would arrive in the morning oh, no, and second class mail. Well, no. Why don't you stay right there? Because then you'll be on the camera. Yes. Ah. Misbehaving. Young lady. Stay there. You stay right there. She finally got in my lap last night on the heating pad. And she was thrilled. Hello, darling. I know. I know. You're such a good girl. When you're not beating up big dogs. Yeah. You are a good girl. Yeah. Right, let's see what we've got question-wise. <coughs> yes, the mini horses are still at Goldie's. They're back in Tanner's barn. Yeah. And uh, we're kind of negotiating to attempt to sort of like keep them. <coughs> Didn't say that. Uh, we, have a, we have a lot of donkey jobs next week. <laughs> I think we've got three. Have you? Don't be taking your trailer off. Well, I've got it. It's, it's going to be fixed on Friday. Is it? Is it going down to County Motors? No, it's going to the trailer place. Where's that? To get a new nose on it um, in Danvers. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of. There's several trailer places, but that's where I'm going to put. Yeah. But I have an appointment for my trailer nose. Oh my golly! Oh god! <laughs> it, sure? it needs a new nose job. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get to choose the shape? I know. <laughs> but right. Right now, there's a clunk that shouldn't be there. Yeah. Oh. You put the brake on, plunk. You put the gas on, plunk. Oh, yeah. you know, I said to Janine, because uh, you know she's been unwell, she's now heading back to Aiken. Um, I said to Janine, I said, the funniest thing was, I said, all I've done is watch your mother, who's not been very well, go to hospital, back up and down the drive, all over the place, being followed by her animal episodes trailer. I said, all because we're not confident we can get it back on and all. And she went, did she go to hospital with the trailer? And I went, yeah, not in it. I said, but with it. Judy has learned to make a U-turn and, and get over and get herself into the parking area. <laughs> I know. I said, if she gets stuck anywhere, they're going to have to send me by taxi to get her out. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh. She's got to learn to back it up. That's our next project: is get Judy back in the trailer. Oh yeah. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad you've got that on, on schedule for Judy and not me, because I've already had a shot. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Did you? I don't yes. remember that. Yeah, it doesn't go where I think it's going. <laughs> and we'll not speak about that. So my angles are all off. <laughs> Listen, I've taken, okay. I've taken so many chunks out the back of my car, okay? The bumper okay. is. So, I've given up. <laughs> there's, there's, ty there's times to put your hand up and say, let's just go get Carly. This will do. Because <laughs> I don't think the car can take any more. <laughs> uh, oh, dear, dear, dear. That car, right? <laughs> Did you just take I hit the house. Did you just take a beat? Oh, you hit. I could sing if nobody could hear me. Oh look, I've got to spin this round. Uh, Everybody, everybody's kind of looking at your kitchen. Uh, uh, here we go. Okay, I got sound now. Excellent. Oh, we got sound. I can see the kitchen now. Yes. Uh, yeah, now we flipped it. There we go. And I see Elizabeth now. Hello. 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 There we are. That worked. Yeah, Again. It's working now. Yeah. Great. Thank you. So. Alright, thank you. Alright, thank you. So now what we're going to have to do... Where do they leave us? Well, I've Bye. left... Bye. Bye, thank you. I have left the questions on the other one. So if you've got any questions, you better answer, ask them again, actually. 
and get worse and worse and worse. Right. So this is us here. Nothing there I, have, I actually have no idea why the sound comes and goes, but I think what we're maybe considering doing is um, boosting it. I don't know how you boost it, but we're going to boost it. Well, go ahead. We'll give it, give give it, it a daily boost. vitamin shot. Oh, give the, it a boost the when back. you boost it, it's an extra $12 or something, isn't it? No, I think Nick's got a booster box or something. Don't ask him. But Janine was actually saying she's bringing her Starlink with her. Who? Her Starlink. Starlink? Yeah, and apparently she gets internet. Because she's not got fibre optics, I'm using words that I do not know <laughs> what they do, okay? okay? But she doesn't have fibre optics in this in the part of um, Aiken when she is because it's a new development. And until she's got the fibre optics, she's using Starlink, which I think is Elon Musk's oh. something up in the sky. Uh, <laughs> one of those things in the sky. Yeah, 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 yeah. And as long as they stay up there, it is fine. And um, so she's going to bring that back and we'll see whether or not it's compatible with this area. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> you know my first job out of college was tracking satellites. Did you know that? Well... This is going to be perfect. It <laughs> really, right. really catches that one good. Yeah, yeah. excellent. That was my first to get around. 1959. And why did you track them? Why do we we try to keep track of where they went? Right. It, it was they were early in the game, and they weren't too uh -huh. sure whether they were going the right direction or not. Yeah. You had the star chart, which was basically a bunch of dots all over the place. Yes. And then you had this dot, 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 and mm -hmm. that was the satellite. You were supposed to figure out who these stars were uh -huh. and, you know, measure it all. And, Excellent. It was. Wow. Other than that, the, you had a, a dot which was the satellite, and then you had all the stars were flashing. Right. So, silly question. Was it a nighttime job then? No. No. It all came in on tape. It came. Wow. Tape. Yeah. Four inch tape. On those great big wheels. Yeah. Huh. And man machines. We. Uh, you know. <laughs> yes. It was fun. Yeah. Hey. How long did you it do? It was a satellite. It was for Smithsonian. Oh. Uh, about a year or two. I don't know. Not, yeah, so, I don't know. Well, so you could be tracking whatever there the Starlink's up to. I'm telling it where it's It makes a wrong. good story. It does make a good story. It wasn't all that exciting, but it's a good story. <laughs> it looks good on paper. Yes. And then I went to work for a company that didn't know I had a college degree for 19 years. Even better. Even better. <laughs> <laughs> I hide it well. <laughs> Oh, oh dear. What started us off this morning? Where did we go this morning? I went to a nursing home. I mean, assisted care. What the, the hell was it? That yeah. one. Yeah. 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 Assisted living. I did. With Judy and the dogs? Oh, yeah. Excellent. We saw about uh, 45 people, maybe. Wow. In two different groups. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty good. Mm hmm. Oh. Yes, indeed. Wag, wag, wag. And then. <laughs> we came back, and Janine is feeling better. Do you know that? Uh-huh. How do you know that? Because she phoned. Oh, did she call you? Yeah. yeah. She didn't call me. That's because you were busy out and about. <laughs> and the <laughs> internet connection's the iffy. <laughs> um, yeah, she's, uh, she's driving to uh, Aiken. Aiken. Uh. So, and she's feeling better, but not 100%. She gets bad headaches. She does, she suffers from migraines. Those huh? are the worst. Those are the worst. In this country we call them migraines. Migraines. But, you know, you can have your way of it. <laughs> well, you can have both. <laughs> no, those are terrible. Hers are that bad, she gets double dose migraines and migraines. <laughs> no, those are terrible. Those yeah. are, I used to get them really bad. They're, they're very, they're very debilitating. She gets it so bad she throws up. Do you really? Do you feel no, up? no, no. She they're gets them terrible. bad. Yeah. I, yeah, That's I can't bad. even, sometimes you just can't even think straight. It's just terrible. Yes. So, uh, so don't upset her. No, she's fine. She's quite happy. Well, I know, but don't upset her again or she'll get another one. <laughs> I said to her, I said to, I said to her, your mum said I've not to call you I said, in, case I, in case I upset you. And I said, I don't upset you, though. <laughs> and she said, trust my mother to say that. I said, I know. I said, I wasn't hurt, though. <laughs> I think what she said is she phones when she's driving. She phones and then... We chat her away for about an hour, and then she gets really bored, and then she goes on to the country balance, and then once she's been on the country balance, she goes on to something else, and then she's normally hit her I destination. I think she's dragging that other trailer with her. Uh, I think she? so. Yeah. 
Yeah. Jimmy me. <laughs> she backs up a trailer really well. Too. I know, yeah, she's a She does. does. Which is very fortunate. How she ever got through Somerville. Oh. I was behind her. I know. And there was three inches on either side between expensive cars. And here she's got this monstrous trailer. And you know the funny thing is? She made it. That well, was funny. Well, yeah, she did make it. But she said to me, put something. She gave me an address to put in my phone for my GPS. And she was phone, She was on her phone as well with a different destination. She said, and we'll see which one comes up best. So I'm, I'm sitting in the back seat going, left. And she's going, mine says forward. And I'm like, ah, well. And then we, and then we had to add into the mix, oh, no trucks down here. And she's yeah. like, damn it. So know. we were all over we, the You place. were all over, because I was I following. And we, we didn't know, what, we, yeah, we were doing a GPS. We were following. And then, <laughs> and then we just got, look, there's a car park. Let's just park the car, the trailer of the car. Did, did you find that place by accident? Uh-huh. Oh, well, that wasn't calculated at all. It was, it was right, there. perfect. I know. Uh, it must have been Goldie. Must have been Goldie. Cause Goldie I, was cause I'm telling you, we were we were like, we were coming down streets, you know, the narrow streets, and she's like, do you think I should park the rig here? Oh my, well, if you want to. And then it was it was um, oh my golly, and then we just nice. happened upon that. Yeah, I had to be. So it was. Did anybody uh, write down the name of the company that was? No. <laughs> Okay. And you well, know why what? don't we try and figure out? And you know what? Not only that, I think if we try to find it again, we might have a problem because we <laughs> right. were all over the place. Ah, uh, you must be able to get like a, Google yeah. mappy things. Yeah. No, no sky. No, I'm saying oh, it must have been there. Yeah. Well, any, because I we were almost across the street from the boathouse. Yes, that's right. So. And there was a funny. Could, remember, there's that funny junction. Yeah. So you could find that probably on. Yeah, look up the boat house. Oh, yeah, because we should write to them and say, "May we park there?" Yeah, and the police place. wouldn't give us such a hard time. I know. Yeah, but it's a good place for the donkeys and the trailer to be parked because it's a busy area. Oh, when is Janine coming back? I don't know. When she comes back? When she decides to, right? When she feels like it. When her headache's over. Yeah, when her headache's over. When she's torn her headache. At which point she's like, I'm not going back there. But she ever, yeah, it ever cleared up. So she's probably watching now thinking, I'm not going there. I, no, I'm not going there. Those idiots. We're so we have to stay out. <laughs> so I think that um, once she gets herself all organized, she's got a lot to do down in Aiken. So once she gets that organized, and whenever it's done, she'll take a wander back up the road. Yeah. And, so uh, she's hoping to have that sort of be financially self-sustaining. Ah, I think it will be. Yeah. yeah. Do you know the funny thing is, so this lady here says that uh, Janine took after you, Carlene, very talented, right? And well, I'll tell you the funniest thing. You know how you were talking about Janine picks up all the elastic hair bands? Yes. Right? You know you pick up and collect elastic bands. I know. Yeah, so there you are. <laughs> yes. I'm finding the elastic bands around all the doorknobs in the house. And I'm like, ooh, I wonder I wonder who that could possibly have been. If it had been hair ties. She only like, picks up the one kind. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, yeah. And they're all allowable. And you don't discriminate. <laughs> right. You're like, it's got elastic in it, I'll have it. That's funny. Yeah. So I'm sitting thinking, that's obviously a family trait as well. <laughs> but we found them. The other day in 25, those big elastic ones, if you ever need them, right? Well, that's right. Those big, big we ones. Have the, we have the ones for the trash cans. <laughs> we we have about a thousand Yeah, of them. but you know what the problem is? As Judy was telling me, we've lost the trash cans. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> she said to me, so there's a trash can. I'm like, there are several trash cans. And, and she said, yes, but it's not those ones. I'm like, okay. She said, it's clear. And I'm like, oh, I've not seen that one. I said, oh, there is a God. black one. So I'm uh, thinking clear. I'm like, does she, does she mean silver or no, I think she means clear. It's a, like a trash can liner, I think. I think it goes oh. inside something. The clear ones, right? Yes. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. No, I don't know. She either. said a clear trash can. I was like, I don't think we ever had she clear. She did say clear, didn't she? No, no, not a true clear trash can. They're the liners. Oh, yeah, I know. The, oh, I've I seen remember them either. I remember they the roll of them in that room over there. Yeah, yeah, they're in here, yeah. Okay. Somebody needs to tell Judy that'll be you. I'll take a picture. You take a picture. I thought talking about a trash can. I thought it was a trash can she was talking <laughs> Me about. Me too. I see, lost in translation. So you wouldn't have a trash can you could see through. No, you <laughs> that's, that's, what, that's what I thought. That's why I said the same thing. Like, I don't why remember. Would you, 
<laughs> it's like, why would we have a clear channel? And that's why I was saying, no, but there is a black one over there. <laughs> I said the same. I was like, oh, no, it's not a clear channel. Uh, uh, yeah. Anyway, oh, we'll get there. <laughs> oh, and this lady says it goes back to your fa your father who saved everything. He, d he saved hardware. Yes, he, cer he certainly did. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. I've got a husband like that, you know. See, it's hardware. Bits of wood. Hardware, yeah. No, not bits of wood. That doesn't count. No. Bits of wood. Well, oh. I, I located today one of my very favorite things to do. It's, you see that funny wood thing over there? That thing, yeah. Would you get the two things that are on that shelf, on that hook? See the hook? See the hook it's on? This this I get. Yeah. Yes. There are two things on that hook. That yes. and the, the other thing with the wood. This? Yes. I, I could have a discussion for hours on this. This is one of the first <laughs> dogs that we um, donated to a veteran in Maine. It turns out he is a woodworker. And look at the woodwork. That's cool. He That's made cool. this back scratch for me. I was and it is absolute wonderful back scratch. You're not going to believe this, but you see when you say this is one of the first dogs we had in Maine, and I thought, is it? It's Red the bone? No, the red. <laughs> no. No. I was like, it's, no, it's a that. picture. We, we have a picture of him uh, raising the flag up at one point. Well, oh. yeah, so he's it, ta he taking makes, that. He makes the damnedest things with wood. That's so right. he's taking that from a great big. I have no idea. And whistled it. At any rate, it's a back scratcher, and it's good. wonderful. Now, the good. other piece I have here, this happens to be oh one of my favorite. This is, you cannot have a wood stove without something like this. For moving the logs? It's, you know, yeah. You, Pick that thing and it takes, it takes, you know, and so this belongs with that stove. I put, I missed it, today, <laughs> and it was always hooked to that. Oh. Uh, it was hiding in the corner, so now I can put it over there with the stove where it belongs. Excellent. I didn't put that one back on the hook. Yeah, I was like, that's <laughs> And I'll get this one on the stove. Huh? In, ca in case we confuse them? Yeah, this, I don't know. It's, this is, see, I, I don't know what it was. It's a, it's a piece of hand wrought something. It was not a screwdriver or anything. It's not been a, you know those uh, hooks that you get for hay, moving hay? No. No. No, they're a different shape. They're entirely different. We've got two different ones on Meredith. We've got a, a, a very angular one and a, and a proper hook one. Yeah. Huh. Weird. Maybe the proper hook ones are not for hay. That could be. <laughs> Did he take my saddle rack? I don't know. I don't either. But keep track of it. Because if he doesn't want it, I want it back. Yes. I'm keeping my head down because we're taking the second nibbling donkey off. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm feeling a bit embarrassed about donkeys with nibbling problems, <laughs> of which we seem to have many. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh. I think we're done. Oh, nice. Oh, oh wow. wow. Wasn't that good? That was good, huh? Even with we with having to do two. Okay. <laughs> part one and part two. There you go. Excellent. See. Oh, that's a good point. Are the curved hooks maybe for ice blocks? What's this? The curved hooks maybe for ice blocks. The ones on Meredith, you know the very curved ones? There's two of them and they've got handles not like that, but you know the handles like the top I of the I know the ice block hooks. No, these are hay hooks. Oh. Mm -hmm. Because we do have an ice house on Meredith as well. I know. Yeah. Okay. Yep. No, so we have no idea. Yeah. And yes, I think it is pizza for dinner. And thank you very much oh, yeah, for sending you. that yeah. through. Yes, thank you. That yeah. would be absolutely super. Yeah. I'm getting tired of leftover Chinese food. <laughs> Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, there is that. Why I don't suppose. we give that to your husband? No. No? The no. Chinese food? No. It, we gotta get it moving out. Oh, he's, he's, he's made sand boy, didn't he? He bought sandwiches. Oh, I can bring it over. You, you, can it? you go ahead, can you, you get it out it? of here. Yeah, good. Okay. Uh, is, is, is that person still coming with the head? Well, apparently so. It was going to be half an hour. So. Mike will be home at some point. Yeah, I'll check out my dog. Oh, I better switch this off. Bye. Good night. Bye. <laughs>